Control of it. Touchdown, Pitt. Play action. And they flip it to Murray. Murray leaps. Touchdown. No. They went to Hickman. And Penn State well timed blitz. LaVar Arrington, the all candidate came across well it was a great athletic play by LeVar Arrington as you see he times his blitz very well Winston on third down goes to his right looking at his own can't find anyone he finds to the end zone touchdown Jameis Winston It's the ultimate game of cat and mouse when you've got a quarterback on the perimeter. It's so hard on the defender. When do you leave your responsibility and make the play? Lines up in the gun. Carlos Hyde. The rookie running back flanks him. And Kaepernick goes one over the middle. And that is picked off by Chris Conti. Conti gambled. Is able to get in front of the receiver and pick it off at the 31-yard line. Timed it perfectly on a pass intended for Anquan Bolden. This Conti takes a little heat sometimes. Surratt flips it out. Michael Carter upended near the pylon. And a touchdown. Wow, what an effort. T.J. Logan's number. Watch the young guy go high and break the pylon. Break the pylon. Oh, wow. Wow. Great that. play! Oh my goodness! <laughs> Why not? He's had that kind of a day. Wow! He makes that kind of an impression, an impact on every game he plays. Everyone else is on the heels. Look oh, at him! He gosh, jumped is that before spectacular. the snap of the ball. It made contact. And I he's just not on love side. that play. Oh, that is terrific! You can't coach that. <laughs> you can't <laughs> coach it. Newton hangs in, now flushed out to his right. Can he get there? Ball's out. Recovered. Touchdown. Before that ball was out, the call was touchdown. The look at the very end. Reggie Bush. Joe Dunbar was right with him. It'd be interesting to see where they spot this because Reggie's body was way past the first down stick, but it looked like the ball was behind it. Watch this cartwheel job. Finnegan underneath, Joe Lon Dunbar underneath. Reggie comes down, but was the football past the first down marker in the line to gain? I don't think it was. We're going to have another close call for the officials because the spot, and you can challenge the spot if you're Joe Philbin in that. Petty. Has some running room. Has a first down. Has a touchdown. Up and over. Jacoby Glenn for the score. His mom, Dina, a bit concerned about her son's he got upended. Again, 
They're coming after him, and he's taken off. He's flying! Did he sail over the pylon? Are you going to say he was out? Oh, i tell you what. How long is he? Look at this. That, well. Wide open is Diggs. He leaps for it in the end zone. Touchdown, Vikings. Whew, he went by Mathis so fast right here. And it was a double move. And what a great catch. Spectacular catch. Look for Wharton up top, isolated. Bowers trying to run it for the score. Airborne touchdown! They can pick up a first down at the three-yard line. Four-man rush. Bowers will scramble for it. To the five. Airborne and in. Ross Bowers gives the Huskies the early lead. Which again, didn't have a whole lot of pass rush lane discipline. A nice alley for Bowers to run through and pick up the first down. At the 45, first down, the out is complete. Oh, he is in. And over the top comes Tyron Brackenridge to help out on the tackle. Four man rush. That's all they needed. Jonathan Allen. That's his sixth sack of the year. Well, he came back. Could have been in the NFL if he wanted to. He came back to work on his technique. Bannon throws Beckham. A diving catch. What a catch. Odell Beckham Jr. for Giants touchdown. You have got to be kidding me. I mean, this guy does it almost on a weekly basis. This is unbelievable. How this ball does not come loose when he hits the ground, I have no idea. Down at the bottom of your screen. Give the McCaffrey. Trying to get around the right side. He does. McCaffrey leaps. End zone. Oh, touchdown. Up and in. Jim McCaffrey. Great play design by North Turner. If we take a look at the all 22 later, you see he spreads them out. You don't have to block everybody. You just have to remove them. And then at the last minute. They're in this October losing streak. He's got an open man. Leaping into the end zone, David Njoku with a touchdown. We talked about David Njoku being an impact player, and you see exactly why. We continue to run him. He is in for the touchdown. That'll do, that'll be enough. Yeah, then Thompson. See where they spot his forward progress. That'll got be enough. Yeah, look at Perriman. <laughs> Luck. Throws it back to Ballard. Ballard! Leaps for the end zone! And Al River on the head official is stopping everybody. That is the game if that touchdown stands.
Look at the determination. He reads run the whole way. He reads Humphrey the whole way. He takes off for the jump before Humphrey takes off for his jump. That is football. Here comes Hill. Fake to everybody. They do a little flip to Kelsey, and he jumps over everybody. Touchdown. <laughs> Now, if you watched last Thursday against New England, you saw that shovel pass used to great efficiency, but not off of that action by Kansas City. So they brought you a new wrinkle to the play that worked well for them last year. Michigan State moving the ball. Cook. Underneath. Looking for two. bottom of your picture to the right and there is the end around and a double reverse here is Reggie Bush on the double reverse inside the 10 dives in and no signal given yet and a flag is down in the end zone penalty marker down and a touchdown signaled for the Saints let's see if Reggie Bush got in look at the leap the ruling on the field is a score and after the score, personal foul, unnecessary roughness, late hit, number 52. Carr, the play fake, looking for the fullback. He's covered. Carr got to run for it. He's at least got the first down, but he's going to be short of the goal line. It looks like he's got enough for the first down. That was an excellent job by Carr recognizing the situation, because this thing's covered up. The only play that he has is to go for it. Good job of knowing where the sticks are and making the leap to move the chains. Wide open and a flip into the end zone by Jerome Simpson. Oh, goodness. You'll be seeing that one the rest of today into tomorrow the entire week. It's one thing to leap over a guy. It's another thing to finish the flip on your feet. Well you don't get style points in the NFL but that ought to be worth eight. I just hope the league doesn't come back and outlaw this. This is outstanding. He wanted to look at the ups on this guy and then the land.